Samuel was born, and his parents, his mother, Hannah, uh, knowing that this was a special boy, gave him to be raised in uh, by a holy man. The holy man was Eli, and Eli was kind of a judge. Uh, so Samuel grew up with Eli, kind of, uh, as to serve God and be close to God. One night, he was asleep, everyone was asleep, and Samuel, the boy now, heard a voice, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel thought, must be Eli calling me. So he ran to Eli, but Eli was asleep, and Eli said, no, I didn't call you, go back to sleep. The same thing happened two more times. What, Eli, are you calling me? No, I didn't call you. And then they thought, maybe it's God calling him. So he went back, and this time he heard his voice again, Samuel, Samuel. He said, what is it, Lord? Tell me. Uh, I'm here. I'm your servant. So uh, Samuel said, uh, God told Samuel, I'm going to tell you amazing things. Basically, I'm going to make you a prophet, P-R-O-P-H-E-T. Now, that's a word that doesn't just mean a person who can predict events in the future, that means a messenger of God. And Samuel was a prophet. So, uh, gradually Eli died, and Samuel became a prophet and the judge of Israel. As time went by, the people of Israel wanted a king. At first Samuel thought this was a bad idea, but finally God said, okay, uh, the first king will be Saul. Find him, pour oil on his head, that's called anoint, anoint him as the king. So Samuel found Saul, poured oil on his head, and said, you, are, you will be the king of Israel, the first king of Israel. Saul became the king. He wasn't a bad man, but sometimes he didn't do just what God and Samuel said he should do. So God told Samuel to find another king and anoint him too. Uh, Saul, uh, so Samuel went to, the, to Jesse. Jesse had eight sons and God told Samuel one of these sons will be the next king. Anoint him. So Jesse, where are your sons? Bring them to me please. And he brought, Jesse brought seven of his sons. But uh, Samuel said, no, not, he's not the one. He's not the one. None of these. And so Samuel was waiting for a sign from God. And Samuel, uh, Samuel said, do you have any more sons? Yes, I have an eighth son, my youngest son. He's out keeping the sheep. Bring him to me. That son was David. The son, David was brought to Samuel Samuel anointed him so that he would be the next king. These stories are a little confusing because it seems like we have two anointed kings at the same time. But it will work out. 